Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be another prepping for Christmas video. So if you want to follow me along for a little bit this morning and then have a catch up at the end, then keep watching. I am out bright, bright and early this morning. I did the school run and got right in the car and I have come to Sainsbury's to pick up an Argos parcel because I have two things that I need to pick up or like a bunch of things. But I've also got my Tesco order coming and that's in about an hour so it's going to have to be a very, very speedy trip. I'm just getting my Argos stuff up now. But I thought we would have a really quick little nosy um, around Sainsbury's while we're here and then we'll get back and I will show you what I've picked up so far. So I've got a few extra stocking bags, um, like the kids' pyjamas, things like that. So I just thought I would update you as to where I'm up to you and what my plans are next. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoy coming along with me. So let's go because I've probably got about... Mm, half an hour or so and then I've got to be back in that car and back home ready to get our Tesco order which was kind of bad planning on my part but if there's a chance I'm gonna take it so come with me Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. let's go to the ocean yeah let's go outside can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Santa's coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times Oh, and the sun said it is just getting better On a blanket with the skyline painted in blue Ooh, yeah, that's what we do We'll be chilling and having a good, good time <laughs> when I say that that was tense um because you can get you know on the Tesco app there are updates um as to where your order is in the delivery cycle and it goes 10.06 to 10.36 and I thought that's a big window Tesco um, but it gave me a little bit of extra time, but then there was so much traffic on the way home that it was saying that it was expected home at 10.09. And then, like, by some sheer miracle, every bit of traffic light started to clear, and I made it home, and they're not here. But I hate being late. I hate letting people down. It's one of my, like, big deals for me. Um, so I was panicking so much, that, like, I don't want to waste someone's time, they've got a job to do. Oh, you should have gone afterwards. But in my head, I was like, if I've got this hour in the morning, I should go then and then the day will go so much more smoothly because I have to go in and out, in and out. Um, and I'm glad, I'm so relieved. And they're not here <laughs> anyway. So I'm guessing that I might have a little bit longer. Yeah, maybe, I reckon they'll probably be here within the next 10 minutes, to be honest. Um, but that was 10. Oh my gosh, I really wanted to have a proper long reach around Sainsbury's, but when does anyone really have time for a proper long reach around any shop, really? Um, so I was literally running around like supermarket sweep and trying to like capture little bits for you because I thought you'd enjoy seeing. Um, I can't, their stuff is so nice. It's so nice because they've got two and then they've got Habitat. 
and they've got all their own little homey range, Sainsbury's Home, I think is the other one, um, that they've stocked. They've got amazing things in the moment, like kids' pyjamas, cute Christmas jumpers. I picked one up because it was 25% off. Um, and it's just the homeware and the decorations and they were all organised into little sections so if you're more like woodlandy there was a bit for you if you're more like santa's grotto elf there was a bit for you there were just so many bits and bobs and i could have taken all of it home but like i don't need it and um, i tried to capture some of my favorite bits for you but we are home and i am just going to breathe for a second <laughs> i was so tense um but yeah once tesco is done not that you'll see that bit but i will put all that away and then we will go through everything together that's what we're going to do and i'm going to update you on things like gravy food what me and grandma have got going on for christmas dinner how that's going to work like christmas plans all of that and i will I will update you so it'll be like maybe about half an hour for me but a few seconds for you Ta -da! we're here we're back we're in the um living room and i am going to put the heating on husband of mine because you're not here and you can't stop me because it's absolutely bloody freezing and what is it with men and being so controlling over the thermostat anyway <laughs> let's not rant so i've got a few bits and bobs to show you also like you know what i picked up at sainsbury's which admittedly there's not there's not loads and loads of stuff but other bits that i've been squirreling away because as you know i'm trying to get everything done as quick as possible so first things first um i thought i would well i thought we could see if these are actually worth the money obviously i so basically i've been looking for you know garlands that everybody wrap around their staircases and things like that now admittedly we don't have the kind of staircase that you can do that to so um i have bought them for other things but every time i have a look they're either really expensive like really expensive or um they're covered in like fake snow or over adorned i'm the kind of person that likes to buy things that i can adjust or like decorate for myself if, if you know what i mean so these are plain garlands from habitat which you can obviously pick up at sainsbury's or buy at argos which is what i did i did that oh this is looking promising i did an argos order and collected at sainsbury's because i wasn't sure if they'd be in stock um yeah i actually think i'm really really pleased with this now i will have to let you know how much they cost or just link them or something um but these i am happy with firstly i feel like that is so realistic do you not think that's really good i'm really happy and i think also you can fluff them out a bit now what i want to do and I'm aware that this is a bit extra, but you're going to have to hear me out, um, is, you know, the, um, we have bifold doors in our kitchen, which was a dream come true. And I love them. Um, and I always have lights around them every, or all year round, because I love lighting. I love like fairy lights. I love the way that light comes into rooms. I'm very, very much about that kind of ambiance, as they call it. Um, and I thought, because we're not having a Christmas tree in the kitchen this year, which I don't know if I've told you yet, I have on Instagram, but basically, the house floor did, the flooring has come up, we have now, almost six months later, reached a settlement with the insurance company, and we have a date for the flooring to go in. We also have a date for the decorating to be done, but the decorating can't be done until the new year because our decorator is booked up because the insurance company took too long approving everything. Um, but, and I, I'm aware that this is a first world problem. I'm aware it's just, you know, little things can sometimes be annoying. Um, but the flooring is going down before Christmas, which is very exciting and we're very appreciative of that but it's going down the week commencing the 10th so hopefully by the 15th of that like the friday monday to friday it will be done however to do that everything in the kitchen has to come out and we're not actually entirely sure where we're going to put it all yet but where there's a will there's a way 
and we've already got a will in this house so maybe we'll be extra lucky who knows um but yeah we've got to take everything out and normally we would get a real christmas tree every year, year and it would go in the kitchen but we obviously can't put a tree in the kitchen this year because we've got a real one we'd likely the likelihood is is it get damaged being moved around if we put it outside if it gets rained on it get wet we'd have to take all the decorations off while that happened because some of them are like fabric ones or homemade ones they get damaged so the whole process of doing it in there was just a bad idea um and it would just be another thing that would need moving and then i did say to mark please please can we still get one and we'll put it up in here and he was like honestly babe with all the damage that we've had to the house and the back and forth and the fact that our christmas tree always falls down every year um without fail I, I i think we're just bad at putting it in its base to be honest i will hold like we're just we're not successful in that area it was like i'd rather just get a fake one um and i was like but it's the end of our um tradition like i got a bit like man um and he was like well you know like we could get a really good quality fake one and at least we can like reuse it and stuff and then it can go in the living room because he just doesn't want it in here in case it falls over because we like you have to water it to stop it from being a fire hazard he doesn't want to damage the carpet and also I have a habit of choosing one that's too big and it would probably be too big for the room which is fair enough and sometimes in the grand scheme of things you've just got to listen to your husband haven't you i make most of the house decisions <laughs> so it's his turn he 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 won hands up so we ended up on that same day because i was like right we're doing it then we're going to look now and we're going to commit to it before i just get any more upset over the whole thing and um, so we looked and there was actually an offer on you know balsam hill is it there were loads of offers everywhere everyone always talks about how good they are we got basically the cheese piss one you can get which i think is the blue fur blue nordman fur or something like that and um it looked really good the reviews were great and we thought right it's an investment we'll just get it because the discount was really good at the time and we thought right well, it'll be built to last go um and then since then i've just thought god the kitchen's gonna look crap and I mean it just look a bit crap at the moment anyway without the floor in but I just thought what can I do to make the kitchen look Christmassy for the kids still as we spend a lot of time in there without putting it on the floor and then I thought garland pick a great headpiece garland around the bifold I guesstimated and got three um with the view i'd already ordered some from amazon they were terrible or sent those back but these i'm really happy with and that is a really long-winded story telling you that i'm really happy with my garland and what i'm going to do with it i will probably make a little reel showing me decorating it so i will upload it as a youtube short as well but if you want to see things like longer short form videos which i'm aware kind of contradicts itself like i do post like more reels and little videos and little updates over on instagram and tiktok but yes, I'm really pleased with them. And then the other thing that I got, because I just thought, right, while we're rehauling everything and we're we're turning over a new leaf, and it is my hope that maybe next year we can get a real Christmas tree for the kitchen and do a fake one in here. But don't tell Mark. Um, one issue we always have with a Christmas tree, whether it's real or fake, is getting the star to stay on top because the ones that you put you know that they have like a this is going to look a bit sexual but you know <laughs> the top the pine needle thing the top frond and you put the star on and it's like that but all that happens on our trees is that the star bends the frond and then we've just got a wonky star um and this one when i was looking it has a clip and I feel like you could adjust it to a point where it would be a little bit more sturdy and it's all burnished and old and um, the stars we've had previously are all kind of a little bit um, like just really cheap ones and I just thought that this would be really nice. Um, and as it's going in here, this kind of tone, the gold goes in this room really well. So these were my finds at Argos and I was very excited very very excited I'm just going to gently move this out of the way because I'm not talking about you just yet also I'll show you these quickly how cute my children are the most loving little things but last night I got two mama mama I love you so much to mama and then inside it says to mama I love you so much you are the best mom I love you and there's a little reindeer that's from Daisy and this is from Stan I love you. It's just so cute. 
and these little things I, I just love I just flipping love them so much and I love being their mum so much um right what do people put in Sainsbury's we're going to go through this really quickly because I don't want to bore you. I did get this Christmas jumper, which I thought was lovely. It reminds me of a Topshop one that I had, but it got like a weird stain on the front and it was a cream colour with black writing and the stain just got worse and worse. It's almost like, it was like a bleach stain, but it was like a grey faded black colour but it just wouldn't go no matter how much I've seen treated it. And in the end, I just thought I can't keep wearing this because it just looks like I'm dirty. Um, and this is like the opposite. And it just says Merry on the front. I took a chance with it because the only size that they had left was a size 18, which is only one above really what I am. So I don't think it would be too bad. And I do like things oversized anyway, but there's 25% off. So it's originally £22 and I got it for... It was like 17, which I just thought was really good because I've been trying to find a Christmas jumper this year, um, one that was a bit more understated, and I'm really happy with this. I thought that was really good. So if you are looking for one or you like the look of it, two at Sainsbury's is where it's at. So pop that down there. Non-Christmas things, birthday cards, four, and a gift bag because we have two joint birthday parties this weekend, and it's just endless isn't it it's so hard like keeping up with everything but especially at this time of year because i feel like as a mother the life admin that we have to do anyway is just complex but when it gets to christmas time i just feel like my head's about to explode boring i got some soup and a roll for my lunch so i normally share these with marks so i have like half each but i'll just have half today and then maybe like half tomorrow something like that because he's not here cat food and um, the only thing that i picked up just for the weekend was beef and caramelized onion flavor crisps because they sounded nice more gloves for stan because despite having gloves for my children he still loses them all the time and then moans at me like my hands are cold and i'm like where are your gloves where are your gloves i also bought um school was doing like a little pta second hand um like school item sale and i bought a jumper today as well for him because just constantly things go missing and even though they're labeled they never come home um anyway i've got some baby reindeer mini rolls just thought they were sweet and i thought i would pick them up because then you know that they're there you know for festive pack lunches because you know i like to do stuff like that oh i don't know if you, can you see can you see their little faces <laughs> and then the two bits that I did give in to while I was there were these. Um, this sleeps until Christmas thing is, oh, it's so cute. It was only £5 and I just thought that my children would love this. And what I like about it is that it's obviously quite small um, and it can just go on a shelf um and be altered every day because that's the sort of thing that daisy and stan really enjoy and i've got to say like obviously i'm what is now like the new buzzword for it is a middle mum i'm a middle mum now so i've left the baby days behind and i've got a child that is like approaching teenage years and in a way, sometimes I feel like you almost get like sort of lost in this world, almost a bit forgotten because you're just, you're running around. It's so busy. I cannot explain how busy this time of year. Well, no, this stage of life is with kids when they've got clubs and social lives. And um, obviously we've got three, which is like a treat we made, but it's, um, it's just busy. And I'm all too aware now of how little time I've got left of Daisy and Stanley believing. Um, Bill obviously doesn't believe anymore and I don't know if this might be our last year with Daisy because some kids start getting wind of it and then they start telling their classmates and you just feel like oh could you just not could you not do that please um, and it's hard and it's just it's the way life is I think we got to about eight or nine with Bill or I think it was 
last year he told he admitted that he didn't believe but he was like going along with it for us which was like the most adorable thing ever and he's obviously been hired as a magic maker by me now and he helps out and he helps like g the kids along which has always been lovely um but stuff like this you know one day they won't be as excited about father christmas coming because they know that it's you and um we'll probably keep it for years to come and then it might be something that i just stuff and give whoever has kids first they choose to have children and it's just i know it's a really sentimental way of looking at something but you just don't realize how fast it goes i don't think um and then the only thing the other thing that i picked up um less sentimental was just some paper chain decorations i think it was about one pound um just because it's a nice activity to do with the kids and i'll talk about activities um in a second but i thought it was quite sweet it was like little holly design I liked that. And the next few things I picked up were these Kinder Surprise Father Christmases. And, I mean, you can't hear. I was hoping it would make a noise, but... Oh, these do. Um, I think they've got little Kinder Surprise eggs in. And I know Bill won't be as fussed as the little two will be, but I thought they were quite sweet. Creme de Cassis. Um, this is obviously amazing with Prosecco. I My favourite is Chambord, which is a raspberry, uh, a black raspberry liqueur. Um, this is a black currant and a hint of Scottish raspberries, actually. But it's it's like almost like cordial for Prosecco, and it's delicious. And it was on offer with your club card. Not club card nectar card and um, so i've got a bit of money off it and i thought i'd get that because shambord is only like i think maybe 15 centiliters it's tiny and this is 35 centiliters um a fairly biggish bottle the other thing that i picked up were some mocha mocha cookies buttery and chewy loaded with belgian chocolate chunks and smooth brazilian coffee and I just thought they sounded delectable. So those are for the weekend as well. It's Thursday today, so I won't be eating them until tomorrow. Um, let's get on to some of the other bits. So I mentioned, I think, earlier that I got the kids some Christmas pyjamas. And these are the ones that I picked up. So in the end, I am a member of H&M. You know the rewards thing? Is it like H&M, like the family... VIP kind of thing it's not it doesn't cost you don't you literally just sign up and then you get like special offers before everyone else and, and things like that but um these cost me about six pounds in the end which I just thought was a really good value but um I've got these ones for Stan which I just thought were really cute I got these ones for Daisy which are like red with like little deers and hearts and penguins and like very cutesy little things on and then bill i was really pleased to find a pair that like gave a hint of festivity but without it being like too childlike for him because he's just not into that sort of stuff anymore which is fine but these are like red tartan with a black top and again i thought they were quite like my little two don't really care about wearing christmas pajamas in april um but bill would be more wary of that so i feel like he'll get more wear out of those and then finally i've got look, my little bag of tricks which are bits that i showed you last time but i promised i'd show you the books that i picked for their stockings if i um managed to get them in time to show you so for stan and i was really impressed with this so if you've got a minecraft fan i think this is add it to your basket on amazon this is minecraft super bite size builds with over 20 epic mini projects now obviously stands in year one he's five years old and his reading is actually really good um, and i know this will be something that we have to like read through together but he's so talented at minecraft and the things he builds are just amazing and they have step by step so visually See what I mean? He can follow that. I know he'd be able to follow that really easily. And I think this would just be so exciting for him. Like, it teaches you how to build a barn, um, parkour, pachinko game. I don't even know what that is, to be honest. A steamboat. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, I love this. A secret island base. So I just thought that he would be made up with that. And again, it's something that we can sit and do together or like he can do with his dad or Daisy because um, it'd be a nice way to spend like the Christmas holidays together, like building stuff. We can use it and I thought that'd be really nice. Daisy, I got um, 
Jacqueline Wilson's the best sleepover in the world. So obviously sleepovers she's already got. And this is like the sequel. And I just thought that she would really like that. I just I love Jacqueline Wilson. I used to read her as a kid myself. And I just thought that this was really nice. The only weird thing is though, is that it's illustrated by Rachel Dean and not Nick Sharat, is it? Or Sharat? Um, so that's really weird seeing like different designs associated with her books. Um, but yeah, I got those. And then for Bill, I've got Five Nights at Freddy's bonus poster inside, which he will love because he's just obsessed. Um, I don't know why preteens and teens are so intrigued by this, given that they are like it's i don't understand why they like it so much but he's asked for a set of these books and like from all the reviews it's like people getting them for their young people too um and yeah it's a little bit weird but that's what he's asked for and i to be fair used to read goosebumps i used to read <laughs> sherlock holmes all about murder and stuff at his age so i guess it's like nothing new but i just they're so creepy um but i guess you know i'm just entering into a new world of parenthood and that's the way it is and then oh i got the um lush bath bombs as i said i was going to so this is the first one father christmas oh your mouth's a bit crap actually okay he's not the best looking you can tell he's a snowman oh and then the final one is gingerbread man you see him I think I like the Father Christmas best. Now I've shown you the bits for the kids, I just thought I would show you quickly some bits that I've got for me. So I picked up um, This Christmas by Emma Hetherington and it says it's perfect for the fans of the holiday and love actually. Rose used to love Christmas until the year everything changed. She hasn't been home to visit her family for the holiday since. Charlie is facing his first Christmas alone. It may be the most wonderful time of the year for some, but not for him, not this year. In search of comfort and seclusion, Rose escapes to a cottage in rural Donegal to hunker down for the festive season by herself but when Charlie opens the door to see View Cottage the two strangers realise that their holiday rental has been double booked. I'm really excited to read that in my Christmas pyjamas I think that will just be lovely. I love getting a Christmas book on and um, there's a few that I save and reread every year because I just think they're wonderful and um, so I'm excited about that um, when I do get some downtime. <laughs> and then the next few things now these were sent to me but I've shared their stuff before bought it myself and you'll know by now that I am very clear on when something is being gifted or not or if I'm working with someone but the Northumberland Candle Company um sent me loads of items actually and I've got a discount code which I will leave like linked down below if you want some money off but their stuff is unrivaled I shared the barbie collection which i loved and then they did a harry potter one and then this is mary hinchmas so cute oh look at him i guess a little spray bottle oh the one is huge oh, that's so nice um she sent me others as well like rad the lady that runs it all is just amazing she's such a nice person and um i just thought i would show you a few bits i think it might be shawl five for money off um but i will double check on that but this one has white cocoa and christmas cookies mulled wine gingerbread nutcracker and winter glow in and again these would be such a cute little gift especially say like for you know like um teacher's gift for christmas um but the one thing that i just thought you would all really enjoy so i had to show it you is this is a little advent calendar and it's a oh wow oh look can you see all of them what i really like about it is there's actually 25 in here um because some only come with like 12 so that's like candy cane oh that one what's that gingerbread i think orange and cinnamon love that one frankincense and myrrh 
Oh, that smells like a sexy Christmas man. Green one. Christmas tree. Oh, and then the last one, winter spiced apples, I think. Yeah. So that's fantastic. And speaking of Christmas calendar, one thing that I wanted to mention, while it still gives you ample amount of time to do something, is our Christmas advent calendar. Now, I made this myself. I got all of the items from Hobbycraft. So it basically comes with this um, calendar, which is all blank initially, but you can buy the felt numbers, the little felt decorations. I had a glue gun anyway, and it was so quick to do. If you haven't got a glue gun in your life and you're a parent, I cannot recommend one enough for crafts, school projects, it's just life changing. But in every single one, so in like number one, it says, let's put your Christmas bedding on. And I made these and I hand writ them and like decorated them and stuff. And one thing I'm going to need to do, because obviously every year, even though there is still a 25 day or 24 day countdown, the days that those days fall on change. So I have to cross reference our calendar and adjust it accordingly to make sure that this all fits because you don't want to be doing like a big activity, like let's bake some, Christmas cupcakes and it's the night where you've got double swimming lessons and something else and homework to do so it's just to give you some time really like if you are going to do something like this I would get started now and um, so another one let's do some festive baking together ironic and last year I put that on the 12th I bet that was like a quiet night um, North Pole breakfast I reckon that was I bet that was a Saturday and that was a Sunday um elf ourselves love that one um write some christmas cards to those you love it's christmas tree day which today will actually well this year will be on the second so that's what i mean i would have to move things around uh, new christmas pajamas hence why i've got the christmas pajamas so what i need to do is go through all of this and rearrange it and add in any new ones like one thing that we would always do together as a family is ham day but my parents aren't doing it this year um, well the main reason is is that they've got my brother's dogs for like a month or something um because my brother is going away with nikki on their like um they're doing like a second honeymoon i can't remember where they're going off the top of my head but i know that like going for a big thing um, and my mum and dad would end up having like four dogs in a bungalow which is just like chaotic um, and like two of the dogs are a bit anxious around kids so that's not always a good idea and then um, obviously my granddad's not very well and like they probably will not come in that environment because it would just be too much and um, so I'm like I'm gutted because it's such a lovely tradition but I don't know if I might do like Christmas ham day and do a mini version for our family or something because I don't know if I've managed to host it it would completely depend on what we've got going on because every weekend at the moment is just full it's just full um and yeah I will have to see so there might be like some new ideas that I'm gonna have to come up with this year but that is one of the main things that's on my list then another thing that I want to do is make the get ahead gravy um which is a jamie oliver recipe i'll leave it linked down below for you if you've never done it i cannot recommend it enough not only is it delicious not only is it so easy to do but then on christmas day um you just put it into like soup i have soup freezer bags put it into the fridge uh, the freezer freeze it get it out the night before leave it to defrost in the fridge stick it all in a pan warm it up give it a good whisk through and it's done but it it smells and tastes like you've slaved over it for hours on Christmas day and you haven't which is just a thing that I can do to save my grandma time as well and then I also need to start getting bits in for my tiramisu uh Bailey's tiramisu that's it yeah Bailey's tiramisu which is a nigella recipe and I might go through my recipe books seeing my Christmas ones and just pick out any little bits that I, I might like to contribute because um 
while my grandparents are hosting, I just want to make sure that they relax and enjoy themselves and have a nice time because um, that is my priority for everybody this year. Um, so that is what I am going to be focusing on in the next week or so. I'll do another update if you would like me to. And then another thing that we really need to crack on now, our main presents. I've almost finished the stockings and I want to film those ASAP for you. However, I made an order with Flying Tiger, which normally I love. Um they have such lovely stuff but the stores aren't, aren't always as, as accessible for me where i live um i think there might be a couple of northern ones now but again it's not in like the near vicinity for me so i made an order online I made the order on the 5th of november and it's now the 16th of november and it's still not turned up and i know that they ship from overseas but i'm just a bit stunned at how long that's taken um and i really hope it comes i'm just paranoid that it's got like lost in the post which would be really annoying um so yeah that is where i'm up to um if you have any suggestions or things that you've seen for presents for a five-year-old boy a seven-year-old girl and a 11-year-old boy then let me know because we still need some ideas we've got a few things circulating but it is stressful because you want it to be as magical and as special as possible but it's just the overwhelm, isn't it? But I hope you found that useful. Thank you so much for coming along with me today. Um, and yeah, I will hopefully see you all very, very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye.